see how far we get in this. I want to try and my goal for this week is to beat this game. All right. My goal is to beat this game this week. So we'll see if that's possible. All right. I think it's possible. Actually, wait, 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 let me check if. And after this game, chat, we're going to be playing, uh, I think we're going to be playing Beyond Two Souls after that. I heard Beyond, I heard Beyond Two Souls is pretty good, but I know nothing about it, so I, I don't know. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Is there different endings in this? Yep. There's like a bunch of different endings in this shit. What world is this game? This is Detroit, Naya. You never seen Detroit before? Hold on, let me pause this. Fucking most tangled and shit. That's some bullshit. Ugh. All these damn wires. This is annoying. Take a shower. All right, bet, Claw. Bet. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. Hmm. You seem... Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? Well, I'm not light. She seems heartless. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. She robot to No, this no, nah, she's a human, bro. Something's happening. She's a human. Also, you know she's not a Android cuz she don't have the little her chip Connor. aside of her head. So, time is running out. I'm always late. There's almost like so I'm gonna skip that time. Uh, it's all good, bro. No worries. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. Sounds like a There's so much hut. to look at. Mm. Okay, we should we check it out? Has forensics turned up anything? They attacked two guards in the hallway. They knocked one out and shot the other in cold blood. Hey, what's this? 
Is that blood, my nigga? Station employee. Why does he keep doing that? Robert Chris comes and failed gunshot wounds. Oh, okay, now I know where they are. Shot. They're at the scene from the. All right, they're at the building where from where they were from the last episode we were just at. Okay. To the back as he was that trying makes to sense. get away. One bullet straight to Fall the heart guy, CT, still CT back on Twitter. Oh, yeah, That's I forgot, I forgot about that. I'm sorry, CT. Android could do. You gotta remind me, bro. I got too much shit on my fucking plate right now. I got you, though. Don't worry. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the human. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Racist! Whatever. The FBI would take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Uh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Then cars go around tasting blood and shit, Just different. I mean, shit, chat. If y'all were like a, you know, y'all were an investigator and shit, would y'all niggas be out here uh, tasting blood from wall to wall and shit, like you a vampire playing that vamp anthem? Cap. This message is the hope of a people, You're but it is eight. also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until so we, we are free. free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. So this is RA9. Alright, I guess that's Marcus. Get from Elijah comes comes to get Carl Man. Identified its model and it. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Am I missing anything? Oh, I'm missing a couple of things. What's over here? So basically, I gotta like just after wrap myself out. No, it's crazy. Is that ain't that shit crazy? 
I have to wrap myself out, chat. And what's crazy is that I, I'm on, like, Marcus' side here. Like, I don't really care for what Connor is doing. However, I do feel bad for him that, you know, the nigga is, like, lost in a way, I guess? I don't know. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. So snitching, yup. Are you really gonna snitch on yourself? I mean, I, I could, but then it'd be like, it's kind of like a scale, you know? If I take off, I, I can take off weight off of one end, but then the other end will lay hot a little more. Stored the androids in the kitchen. So, There's no evidence know. that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. I can wrap myself out, but then Connor is gonna get fucked over. Oh no. Not that I care for Connor like that. Hello, Mark and Carney. You don't, you don't care for Calum Kara? Kara is. To me, Kara is pretty. Eh. She seems kind of bland. But at the same time, I want to know, like, what inclined her to be like. Like, what it. What, what, like, what inclined her to want to be like a mom, though? You know what I mean? Because, like, I understand, like, you know, she wants to pretend, like, you know, take care of uh, Alice and shit. But, like, she she wants to act, like, more like a mom rather than, like, uh, I, I don't know. It's weird. Essential for seven lives, the transverse key setting for this. How he was seen. It's one of chemical, both with power, supply, and the way of regulating the address trail system to help him. It's trained by the first, the first, like just continuous. Stepmom Kara. I'm gonna ride for this one. I wanna see what you do. Hey, bet. Off the road, I said, said, I got a Alright, cool story. Oh, shit. GB300, serial number 336. I thought it was this nigga, bro. He's not looking at me in any way. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Why are you looking like those? Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station right, androids people's... in the normal course bro. of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is.
Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Bro, when I look away, he looks... Bro, it's this one, dude. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! You see that? Yes, I see, bro. I see his eyes, bro. Nigga looking shady as fuck. The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. Do it. You're tripping. I'm not dying again, bro. I'm not dying again. I don't care. Okay, uh, let's see, there, okay, there are multiple ways, I think, I feel like Saving Hank's probably the best answer here, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Saving Hank's the best answer, because obviously, no dumbass nigga's gonna run out of person with a loaded fucking AK at their chest, number one, number two, I could go. Re I could reach for the gun and try and shoot him, but he's, he might just shoot me on sight while I'm reaching for the gun. So I feel like saving Hank was probably the best answer because maybe, yeah, I feel like that's probably the best answer. I I'm going with Hank, bro. I'm going with Hank. Wait, did I die? Say you swear to God. No, I didn't. Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I'd... Connor. No! Connor, no. Are you fucking for real, bro? Told you to take the gun. So I, I wait. So I, if I took the gun. What? I, I would have shot him before he shot me. Type of shit. I thought like I would have died in that situation. It's 
hard. It, it was a hard choice, bro. You say everybody. Hey, my focus was to say fucking Hank. He had terrible aim. Well, nigga still shot everybody. Whatever, bro. Fuck this game. I hate this game. At least, at least Hank's not dead, so that's cool with me. At least Hank's not fucking dead, so I'm, tri I'm not tripping. Damn, bro. This game always want to kill Connor. Why the game always want to kill Connor, bro? Analyze all these things. I missed some things I had to analyze. Into the kitchen, interrogate androids, find deviant, deviant attacks, remove knife, cover by component, chase deviant, protect Hank, deviant shoots Connor, SWAT destroys deviant. Sacrifice himself for Hank. God damn it, bro! How many? Wait, how many times is that? Is that three times that Connor has died? That's a that's like, that's like the third time. Fuck. Wait, is that wait? Is that the third time? Wait, or was it fourth? This is the fourth time that he died. Like under my hands. Let's see. If, let's see. If we're counting the first time, like in, in, in the okay. If we're counting the first time in the beginning of the game, where he's like, where you're trying to save that girl. That's one. Second time was when um, I think I was interrogating uh, I was interrogating a DB, I think, right? And he shot me. Third time it was what was the third time, bro? I got shot in the head the other time. I, bro, I think it's four. Is it four? I, I don't remember, bro. The world hates y'all. Make sure they love y'all for real. I, I don't remember, but whatever. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Fuck this game. The thing is, bro, it said, like, okay, look, what threw me off is that it said probability of survival was 40%. That's why I was like, yeah, okay, let me let me save Hank. That's why. If it was like it was anything, it was, it was anything higher than fifty percent, I probably would have went for the gun. I'm not even joking. But it was a low percentage, so I'm yeah. I, don't know. I didn't think it was gonna end up. I didn't think it was gonna like go out like that though. That everyone lives. Yeah, I know that CT. That's what I've heard. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Did I got Connor killed him before that? Please, I really need I to see I did what her. I could to keep Connor alive, bruh. I'm Rose. For some reason, I feel like the world just wants him, just wants him dead. What can I do for you? Connor's- I was told you could help us. Help you? Lizzo, is that you? No, but Connor is literally another, like... Connor is like Chloe in Life is Strange, bruh. Always dying. Come on. Always fucking dying. It's better if we talk inside. The world just wants a nigga dead, bro. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Come in. 
What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Ah, look at Lizzo's chat. Look at Lizzo's ass, bro. Lizzo got that fucking dookie. Shit cheeks. I mean, I, I guess. Is that necessary to do my car? No, you know, Alice, Alice is like... She can't stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. Honestly, she's grown, but she, she's old enough to, like, change herself, you know what I mean? You need a rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Happy misunderstanding complicated. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. The spaghetti Thank better be you. fire, Lizzo. I'll get these washed and dried. I know big girls can cook. Shit. No, no, my family. Hey. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Take good care of your giant. That's a mirror on bed. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, to change her clothes and shit. Like, I'm pretty sure she's old enough to do all those, you know? That's just unnecessary. Holy <laughs> shit, for real. <laughs> Alright, Lizzo, let's I didn't talk. I get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. 
All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Mm. We're not the first ones to come here. I thought, bro, I like the These past few weeks we've seen. I like the message of this game, bro. More. I love the message of this game. I don't know what's going on. It's a good message. Something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? Will we some border hoppers now? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. going on it's mary she just shut down lee brown thank you for the follow we escaped together we used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border i loved her i loved her more than anything what will i do without her Let's let them be. Let's get Breezy, Detroit, yes, sir. Alice, what are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. Good job. Good job. You right, Carol? Yes. Take her follow. I'm fine. Them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! Nigga. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Hey, slap that bitch-ass son. Fuck this nigga, bro. Who the fuck is you? What's wrong with you, bro? Don't mind him. El son. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I 
I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Yeah, stop my bro, this nigga over here. Imagine imagine I lash at my mom at my mom like those, bro. Talking about a lot. I don't give a fuck about these damn robots. Boy. And what's crazier, this bro, this nigga has the audacity to say it right in front of us. As if we're not like listening or some shit. Like the fuck? There is widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Hmm? What is these? Okay. Bitch, are you Homer Russell man? Shit, that's tough. World War World War Three. That's crazy. Chat, y'all remember last year around this time where we all thought that World War Three was gonna happen? Y'all remember y'all remember them times? That shit was hilarious. That was a funny time, bro. Twitter was going crazy. This part not, yeah. I think we're getting close to the end of the game. I don't know. Or maybe I'm at the climax of it. Yep. Those of you know, treat yourself. AX four hundred starting with eight ninety nine. Nine hundred dollars for a fucking Android. Honestly, that's, that's actually not that bad. I mean, shit, nine hundred dollars for an Android. That's not that, bro. That's a whole PC. The police. That is legit a whole PC. It's the police. A good, like a good PC. Oh fuck. What are we gonna do? They know we're here. Fuck, Chad. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Uh, fuck. Where should I take? Where should I take it? Upstairs, laundry, kitchen. Um, upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. What's the, what evidence is there, bro? Oh, God. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Go, Kara. Go, go. Two seconds, fuck. It's the last evidence. Oh, my God. Bro, 
where's the fucking last one, dude? The cabinets? I'm not gonna make it. Fuck. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. Bro. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Who snitched? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Who fucking snitched, bro? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Fuck. I, bro, I shouldn't have lied. But no, no, I shouldn't have. Fuck it, it's fine. All right, good, 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 good. And make coffee. Oh, make coffee. Okay. So let's make some coffee. Damn, police. Always policing, bro. I swear. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, uh, I, I forgot there's um, there's my daughter upstairs. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? Good boy, you better not... No. You better not snitch. No. I, I haven't seen anything. Better not snitch, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. All right. See you, officer. Bye. Don't check up step. Oh my fucking god. Oh, what is going up with the damn stairs, bro? Y'all are always selling. Jesus. Is somebody else in the house? It's the dog. He sleeps in the laundry room. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. All right, cool. Good evening, Adam. Cool. All right, bye. Bye, officer. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck 12, pussy ass nigga. Fuck 12, pussy. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. 
It's Rose. Is it dog in the laundry room? Why not the washer? Get yourselves ready. I, I, I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. We leave tonight. <laughs> it worked. I, I look, wait, it still works, bro. It still worked. It don't matter. It still works. We're good. Shit, nigga, damn, bro. That was close. That was actually close. Me, Alice, for Alice, we see Mary, Rose, and Adam argue. Uh, leave Rose needs to find help. Magazine, watch news. Adam returns. Huh. So they also supposed to happen at the bottom over here, but it didn't happen. Got the door, Adam panics. Policeman says the car has opened the door. Change magazine for her. Hide blue blood pouches. So Alice and Lucy hide. Shut the window, lock the door. Hide the clothes. Pretty sure Adam. Upstairs, lie by Alice, make coffee, police man suspicious but upstairs. The question is Adam, police man fooled. Damn, bro. So wait, so wait, it was it was there wait, was it was this like was this like a scenario where like I'm pretty sure there's a scenario where he like, finds out that there's deviants here and shit. What happens then? So I was gonna get the L ending. I'm not. I'm really not going to. I'm. A, I'm just. A, I'm just built different. You feel me? I'm a nigga that's just built different. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. Hey, Brad, don't you That's better. enough! CT. And now what are we going to do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Lucia, thank you for the follow. I've been waiting a long time for this. To an errand. It's okay, yeah, they're gone. Crazy. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. Let's free our, our slaves. That's what we are to them. Good cloud. Nah, I ain't sleep. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. I ain't sleep. Soon they'll know what we really are. 
Let's get him out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Is that Connor? Might be his long lost cousin. Exactly what we need to ram this door. So we have 10 minutes to do all this repairing and shit. Alright, Abby was talking about fully 24 hours and fully before me. You are free. Yep. Nice surprise. But to be honest, I want to see who's going to fold during this next subathon. Yeah, we get that far. my brother will soon be with us that's and that's cuz you love when I got bored I left? Oh. Market! Walk Halo. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. Shouldn't be too difficult. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that this day out. To act, so never seen snow. Without me, so 
we see that all my like 10. Yeah, I feel that. I fucked up everyone's sleep schedule, bro. That's just me. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget me. Things, bro. Unless I forget. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is when we do 24 hours and shit, bro. Shit is damn near impossible. You see the alarm system? times over here and two of those times I wasn't even alive yet so Go to Jericho. You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. Bro, fuck you. Oh, shit. They're coming, Marcus! Marcus! Hey, yo! <laughs> yeah, sir. What's wrong with you? You crazy or what? The cops were coming. I didn't do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. Uh, bro, I'm sick and tired of North, bro. I'm dead ass done with her. This bitch is stupid. I, I, I literally don't like this bitch, bro. I legit just saved our asses and now you're mad? Fuck off. Fuck off.
The whole mission would have been fucked. Bisexual sis, never to follow. There, nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get. Wait, CT, wait, 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 what was the lead message? Was someone trying, was someone trying to spoil? Inside this door. Okay, let's go get the truck. Again, you know what to do. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Darius, thank you for follow. My name is Marcus. And just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. 
We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm I'll with follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's go, Marcus. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. That's just our violin. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Hmm. Pacifist or violin? I'll be pacifist. No justice, no peace. The screens, Marcus. Parallel that they're doing. It's the parallel, bro. Hijack. This message is but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will be released to be given. Now we have to move on. We are See, we have a dream, I think, therefore I am. One planet, two races, equal rights for Android. <laughs> Let's 
Yeah. Not gonna bet now. What do you want, Buster? It's getting toxic. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Do I twerk for no subs? No, I'd not do things like that. However, you could—I mean, you could test it out and try and see what happens. Shall I live or shall I kill him? That all depends. Hmm. Now look, 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 look. Now hear me out on this. I could kill both of them right now, right? But would that really? What would that really do? That wouldn't really do anything. That only create more of a problem, right? I could spare them to show them that I really am human. But who knows what if? You know, some bullshit happens and they shoot someone else. Let's say they kill someone else or some shit. Or I don't do anything and North comes out of nowhere and takes a gun and shoots them for me. They don't kill a black king. Hey, looky here. In this game, I am a, an, an android, alright? Them black people, they don't care about us, okay? We're a, different, we're a whole different race, alright? We're a whole different race. You dig? Whole different race. You feel me? I could spare them. You already know revenge won't really do anything, bro. Cause literally I sprayed peace all around <laughs> I sprayed peace all around like the city and shit, so I'm guessing peace, you know, we we got me peace, you know what I mean? Why well, you never said peace would've killed the niggas? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Is it, is it really support my like? Is it support it, bro? You saw your dead homies on the ground shoot up, bro. <laughs> they smoked your homie. Hey, look, look. I get that. I get that. All right. And I, look, I could kill them too, but it don't. It won't really fix anything, bro. <laughs> it won't really fix anything at the end of the day. 
Now, if they kill another one of my niggas after I spare their lives, then it's, yeah, it's smoke, all right? It's some smoke, but you know what? I'm gonna spare them niggas, all right? I'm gonna let them live. An eye for an eye, and the world goes blind. See? We won't punish a crime with another crime. Interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated <laughs> terrorist <laughs> attack. <laughs> Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro Android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Nigga, terrorists? What do you mean terrorist? Nigga, we were trying to protest this shit, now we're terrorists? Fuck, man, fuck humans. See this. Mission store, avoid police car, reach the store, find a truck, alarm block room, get spotted by a drone. Uh, strike drone, police car arrives. Uh, feign kiss. Huh. Something that happens here, I probably could have ended up resting, maybe. Police not alerted. Cool inside the store. We're Android make statement. Car, tap cars, hack billboards, type lynches. Uh, free Android shop. Some message police patrol arise. Spare. Team returns to Jericho. Send a strong message. Pacifist message. Mark leads a peaceful protest. Do we shoot Masa or no? No, we didn't shoot him. Just smoke the ass. Yeah, but what would that? What would that? What would have? What would have that? What that? What would have that death? Oh my god, I can't fucking speak. What would have that done? What would that have done? That wouldn't have done anything for us. You dig? Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Wait, what? Hey, I didn't mean to say that. That's not even my fault. I'll play one more episode and I'll get off. Okay. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. I shot that crack if I was one of the parks. <laughs> hey! hey. Anyway, hey, this is a bitch from the, from the home screen. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable.
Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. <laughs> nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Patient, distant. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Robber has free money. Hey, suicidal as hell. I wanna know why he's so suicidal though, bro. Like, like what happened? Like, like the love of his life like died? Like he lost uh, he lost his son or daughter? Glad you will see you now. Like what happened, bro? I'm sure they'll tell me eventually, but I just wanna know. What the fuck? Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. This ain't living lavish, bruh. It's a nice ass house. You like bathing in blood, though. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I look, but I don't remember. They got a man bun. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Is it pass? Sir, we're investigating. Don't say anything yet. yet. No. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Mm. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from Malibu. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. You're very... What interests me You're very heavy, but listen, English is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the cam test. It's hard to in Spanish, I'm not gonna lie, but... Magnificent. I'm glad that I know it. Isn't it? It's a good, uh... One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young... and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. 
But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Hey, what? What are you supposed to do? Hey, chill. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Nigga. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more pool. important to you, Connor? Oh, fuck. Your investigation or the life of this android? Fucking hell. Decide who you are. Ah, oh, shit. An obedient machine. Oh, my God. Or a living being. Fucking hell. Endowed with free will. Oh, my God, bro. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want. Fuck, bro. Okay, look. This is very, very tough. This is very fucking tough. Because, look. That, look. That fucking black lady, whoever, whoever was, was like, you know, at, at the little river or whatever. She, she legit told me. She legit said, do not let Hank stop you from getting what you want. Alright? Literally. But I, at the same time, bro, Hank is my guy, bro. Hank's my dude, bro. I can't. And not, not only that, this is kind of in, this is kind of inhumane. But then again, I'm not human. But still, this is very inhumane, bro. This is kind of fucked up. But at the same time, what what if I shoot her and then he doesn't tell me shit? And you just want to see if I just he just want to see if I could do it. Hmm. You are an android. You listen to Amanda, bruh. Bro. This, this is hard to think, bro. Cause I don't know. I mean, if I were if I were me, obviously I wouldn't shoot this bitch. But I'm not I'm not like inhumane, so I don't know, bro. Like, I'm not gonna shoot her like on the site like those. It's kinda fucked up. It's like damn. Literally I'm shooting one of my own people. Y'all realize that? I'm shooting one of my own people. Shoot her, then leave. You don't need your info. Like, I could... Sh I could. Wait, what? I shoot someone that has done nothing wrong. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, who the fuck am I to do that shit, bro? Like, am I, really, am I really that determined to get this mission solved? Like, bro. I could just get replaced about Like, look, bro, this this bitch could legit replace me if she wanted to, when if she wants to, bro. What do I legit gain from solving this case? What do I gain from solving this case, bro? If it involves me shooting someone who has done nothing wrong. Yeah, legit, yeah, legit there's no motive to this. Fuck that. I ain't shooting the bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Holy shit. My war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Bro. Let's get out of here. So I wouldn't let that happen. <laughs> geyser, geyser. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. This is crazy. Why bro. didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. 
You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Hey, it's my guy! Shit. Now I don't know what happens if you do shoot her, though. Bro, I, I wish this game was, I wish this game was like Life is Strange, like the first Life is Strange, but legit. You could do something, but you just go back in time and like fix it, and you fucked up. I, I wish it was like that, but it's not. So, let's see. Connor died in public enemy. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I didn't die though. Fall hit this place, Chloe answers the door, and you love it, Chloe goes to get calm calm ski. Analyze sculpture. Talk to Hank. Chloe returns, me Hansky, Christian Comsky. Comsky tests. Spare Chloe, leave Konsky's house. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. So, fuck. What, bro, what could have. I'm so curious about what could have happened here. I'm so, like, curious about what would have happened if I shot her, bro. Like, would Hank have been like, yo, I'm not fucking with the Connor no more type of shit? But I would have gotten all the information I needed to, like, you know, tough the case. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, anyways, chat. That's gonna be a stream for tonight. All right, it is about seven a.m. All right.